MHB, Modern Home Products. Introducing the TJK, Gas Grill Head Assembly Video. Your new TJK Gas Grill comes with either stainless steel or sear magic style cooking grids. Before you begin the installation, please make sure to read the assembly manual thoroughly, as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. For assembly support, please give us a call at 888-647-4745 or visit us online at grills.com. Unboxing Begin by selecting an area where you are going to set up your grill. Make sure there is enough room, and you have a flat surface. The appliance is for outdoor use only. It is not to be used inside a garage, other building or any type of enclosed area. With some assistance, place the TJK box, facing up. Next, remove the packaging material followed by the grill head components. Slowly remove and set the components aside on a flat surface. Once all components are removed you can discard the box. Please note, combustible materials should never be within 18 inches of the bottom, back, or sides of your MHP grill when in use. Unboxing is now complete. Step 1. Installing the control panel. For this step, you will require the following parts, and the following tools are recommended for this step. Begin step 1 by locating the bottom grill casting which has the burner pre-installed. Removing the burner is required before the grill casting can be installed on an in-ground or patio base post. You may find that removing the burner will make it easier to mount the grill casting to the other mounting options, but it is not required. To remove the grill burner, start by removing the two small cotter pins located on the underside of the bottom grill casting. Pull out the pins and place them aside for now. Next, pull the burner up and out of the grill head as shown. After removing the burner, you may proceed to mounting the bottom grill casting to your selected grill base before installing the control panel. Please reference the assembly manual that came with your grill mounting for directions on how to mount the bottom grill casting, as well as how to properly connect the gas supply to your grill. After mounting the bottom grill casting, locate the control panel and attach it to the front of the bottom grill casting. Please note that if your grill is configured for LP use, the hose and regulator have been factory installed onto the LP valve. Slowly push the control panel into place, matching the inner bolts of the control panel to the bottom grill casting holes. Using two kept nuts, secure the bolts through the inside of the bottom grill casting and hand tighten. Fully tighten the nuts using a 7 16 inch combination wrench. Next, locate the bottom of the control panel and attach two support brackets. The support brackets attach to the control panel and to the bottom grill casting. The two front holes use a 1 quarter by 20 by half inch Phillips head bolts and the two back holes use a 1 quarter by 20 by 1 and 1 quarter inch Phillips head bolts. Push the brackets into place and starting with the back holes, insert the 1 quarter by 20 by 1 and 1 quarter inch Phillips head bolts through the grill bottom casting from the inside. From underneath, hand tighten the two kept nuts onto the bolts. Fully tighten the nuts onto the bolts using a 7 16 inch combination wrench and screwdriver. The screwdriver is used to hold the bolt head and the combination wrench to tighten the kept nut. After the back bolts are secure, proceed to securing the two front bolts by hand tightening the two kept nuts onto the front bolts from underneath. Fully tighten the nuts onto the bolts using a 7 16 inch combination wrench and screwdriver. Again, the screwdriver is used to hold the bolt head and the combination wrench to tighten the kept nut. Next, locate the burner and drop the burner into the bottom of the grill casting, making sure the venturi tubes go through the bottom opening. Slowly guide the burner and venturi tubes into place making sure the back leg pins go through the pre-drilled holes in the back of the bottom grill casting. Make certain the valve stems located under the control correctly engaged into the burner's venturi tubes. When properly installed the valve orifice should fit into the venturi tubes between 1 quarter to 3 eighths. Once the burner is in place, reattach the small cotter pins onto the burner leg pins underneath the bottom grill casting. When the burner is properly installed, proceed by attaching the igniter wire connection. Attach the wire from the igniter module, located behind the control panel, to the porcelain insulator found on the underside of the bottom casting between the venturi tubes. Be careful not to crack the delicate porcelain insulator when attaching the wire. Next, 
locate the control knobs, and attach the knobs to the control panel. Attach the two control knobs to the grill by pushing them down securely onto each of the valve stems. Finally, place the AAA battery, with the positive side facing down into the igniter module. When the battery is installed, attach the push button over the battery and turn clockwise to tighten in place. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2, installing the side shelf. For this step, you will require the following parts. And the following tools are recommended for this step. Begin Step 2, by first removing the plastic protective sticker, from all sides of the shelf, and shelf brackets. Next, mount the two side shelf brackets, to either side of your grill. Make sure to place the left and right side shelf brackets in the position shown. Mount the brackets in place, matching the side holes of the bottom grill head. Two round head bolts, and two kep nuts are used for each bracket. Insert the Phillips head bolts into the pre-drilled holes from the inside of the bottom casting, and attach the kep nuts on the outside and hand tighten. Fully tighten the kep nuts using a 716 inch combination wrench and screwdriver. The screwdriver is used to hold the bolt head and the combination wrench to tighten the kep nut. While tightening, make sure the brackets remain parallel with the grill. Once both brackets are fully secured, it's time to attach the side shelf. Gently spread the shelf apart and slowly push it over the side shelf brackets while inserting the pre-installed bolts into the slots in each bracket. Once both bolts are in place, tighten the nylock nuts on the bottom threaded screws using a screwdriver and a 3 8 inch combination wrench. Make sure the nylock nuts are snug but do not restrict movement of folding and unfolding of the shelf. To fold the shelf, simply lift it up until the top bolts slide off and you can swing the shelf down. To unfold the shelf, swing it up and slide it back down in place. After fully attaching the right shelf, repeat these steps and fully attach the left shelf. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3, installing the briquette grate. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 3 by locating the stainless steel briquette grate. Slowly lower the briquette grate into the bottom grill casting. The grate should rest level on the shelf edge, just above the burner. Step 3 is now complete. Step 4, installing the briquettes. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 4 by placing one porcelain briquette on the far, corner of the grill. Place the briquette on top of the grate. Continue placing one briquette at a time. Carefully place the porcelain briquettes on the grate in the pattern shown, making sure to only have one layer. This pattern helps to distribute heat evenly and reduce flare-ups. The bag includes 67 briquettes. You will need all 67 to fill the briquette grate properly. Step 4 is now complete. Step 5, attaching the top casting. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 5 by locating the top casting for your grill. Place the top casting on the back of the bottom casting and align the pre-drilled holes in the top casting with the two pre-drilled holes in the back hinges on the bottom casting. To attach the top casting, you will require the two lid pivot pins and two hitch pins, one for each hinge. Once the top casting is in place, slide the lid pivot pin through both hinge holes on the top and bottom castings and secure with the hitch pin. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Step 5 is now complete. Step 6, installing the temperature gauge. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 6 by locating the temperature gauge assembly. Insert the temperature gauge through one washer, into the pre-drilled hole located on the outside of the grill top casting. Make sure the gauge is facing outward. On the inside of the grill lid, install the second washer, then the wing nut, to the temperature gauge post. 
Hand tighten the wing nut until the temperature gauge is snug against the casting. Step 6 is now complete. Step 7, adding the stainless steel or sear magic cooking grids. For this step, you will require the following parts. The TJK grill is sold with either the stainless steel cooking grids or sear magic cooking grids. Insert the two stainless steel cooking grids by placing them on top ridge on the inside of the grill. The two stainless steel cooking grids should easily drop in side by side above both the briquette grate and porcelain briquettes. The top side of the stainless steel cooking grids has the rods on top of the frame. Set the grids into place. If your grill came with a sear magic cooking grids, place three sear magic cooking grids on the inside of the grill. The three sear magic cooking grids should easily drop in side by side above both the briquette grate and porcelain briquettes. The sear magic grids are reversible. Use the rib side for making sear marks on steaks and use the smooth side for more delicate items. Step 7 is now complete. Step 8, adding the warming rack. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 8 by locating the warming rack and placing it on the inside of the grill assembly. The swing away warming rack attaches to both the grill lid and the grill bottom casting. Insert the stationary rods into the top right and left mounting holes located on the grill lid. After inserting the stationary rods, flex the bottom swing rods to insert into the bottom right and left mounting holes, located in the bottom grill casting. Make sure it fully attaches to the top and bottom castings. Congratulations! You have now completed the assembly of the TJK gas grill head. You may now proceed to attaching the gas line. For complete steps on connecting your grill to a gas line, please refer to the instructions included in the assembly manual for your specific mounting. Your new MHP grill comes configured for either natural or LP gas. It's important to verify that your grill is configured for the correct gas type before connecting the gas supply to your valve. You can verify the gas type by checking the tag located on the left end cap of the control panel on your grill. If your grill has been set up of LP gas, your LP hose and regulator have been factory installed to your valve. Steps for connecting your grill to natural gas will depend on which base you have chosen to mount your grill head to. For complete steps on connecting your grill to a gas line, please refer to the instructions included in the assembly manual for your specific mounting. Do not use your new grill until it has been fully assembled and inspected for correct performance in accordance with the assembly manual. Enjoy your new TJK gas grill head. Brought to you by MHP Modern Home Products.